G'day YouTubers, Michael here, VK3HAU, and today we're going to swap this switch out. And this one's not a very good quality switch, um, and it's gone, as you can see, there's the new switch over there, and when I turn this switch on and off, uh, that's that one, the light goes out, on, off, and the light on the old no, the new switch goes on and off as well and that's the outdoor light <clears throat> so we're going to swap that old switch out There's our pink Cat 5 for our C bus, all ready for us to use. And this is our uh, inputs to the input device cable. And I'll show you there's no voltages on there. All right, so just to show you that there's no voltages on this cable, there's little voltages on this cable. I've got my multimeter, it's on AC at the moment. So I'll put it across the terminals here. Hope you can see that. You can see there's no, no voltage there. If I turn it on, there's no voltage there, it's just a dead short. Turn it back off, no voltage, we go to DC, DC we have 4.7 volts, with the switch on we have 0 volts, so we've got uh, about 5 volts sitting across those wires, I'll test the other one, the other one, yeah it's 5 volts roughly, Oops. Again. five volts so it's nothing of significance at all so it's less than a nine volt battery okay so coming back to our diagram that we did in the last video um, I said we had zero volts on these lines. Well, we actually have zero volts when the circuit is closed. And we have 4.7 volts DC when the circuit is open. I'm guessing that there must be some sort of pull-up resistor that pulls the line up to five volts or 4.7 volts. And there must be some sort of sense I'd, I see that uh, senses that that's, uh, that's sitting around five volts or thereabouts. And then when you close the contacts, it, that sense I see um, would sense the zero volts and then trigger the, uh, the appropriate output device that's uh, on the CBUS network. So anyway, besides that, it's all low voltage. Nothing, uh, nothing's going to hurt you there. And um, there's no AC in that at all. So... Here's our new gang plate that uh, we're going to program up and replace that existing switch. Um, this is an input device on its own, so it doesn't need this input device here. Therefore, we're, once we've eliminated the four channels on this input device, that input, input device can be taken off the uh, CBUS network. This being an input device on its own, um, We've got to program it to tell it what we want it to do. So this gang switches, we want this one to say, uh, turn the outside lights on for 15 minutes and then turn off, unless you press the button to turn it off again. So that will be a timed um, delay. 
and this one will be just a straight on and off for the laundry light. So the first thing we need to do is provide the switch with uh, C-Bus power and um, our white blue mate and our white orange mate is our negative on the C-Bus network. Our blue and orange is our positive. My eyes get a bit thin, but it will still work. Now this one's um, address is 037. I've already programmed and tested this one, but I've programmed it for a different function at the moment, so we need to reprogram it. We need to put the power on. Yep, just gonna plug it in, loop it in with the PC controller. And now, yeah, that's doing. Still got the old program in it when I was testing it. That's actually uh, the shed light. Anyway. Now let's uh, program. So we just open up our CBUS toolkit and we open our project up. We will go to our network. Just loading the network. Go to units. Oh, this gives you a brief rundown too on the network. So I'll go back to that. So currently our current consumption is 644 milliamps. Current supply, our current power supply can handle up to 800 milliamps. And uh, we've got a number of uh, 40 units calculated on the system. And uh, our uh, power Distribution on the network is okay, so the result is good. Now, if I go to unit 37, scroll down, unit 37 is there. It's telling me it's not on the network. Now, that's because I haven't uh, done a scan. If I rescan the network here, yeah, it should find unit 37. Now this takes some time, so I'll just pause this for a minute. Okay, so we've got uh, about 70% done so far, 80%, 90%, just nearly finished. Okay, so it's now scanned the network and it's looked at what is available to us. So we scroll back down the list we should find 37 is now there, which it is there, 37. So we cl double click on 37. And it will bring up the plate, the gang plate. And you can we see, we can see that uh, currently the security lights are programmed in on that channel one. Uh, switch one. We want to change that to the laundry lights. So I just need to find the laundry lights. And it will be here somewhere. Laundry light. And that's just a simple on off. And the second switch, which is an unused switch at the moment, we want it to be the laundry fan. No, sorry, not laundry fan, outside light. We've already got the laundry fan on the other one. Uh, so outside, outside lights. Um, if I can find the outside lights. Back door. Backdoor lights, I think that's the one. And we'll want that to be 
timed. So we go to the timer over here. And we want it to be 15 minutes. And off key. So once the time has elapsed, it turns it off. Go OK. And then we go apply. We want to save it to the database and we also want to save it to the physical unit. Go OK. And now if you look down at the switch, if I press the whoop, this button on, that button off, this button on, it's flashing to say it's timed, and it's now off. Okay, so now the CBUS scan plate is installed and the light comes on and that light over there on that gain plate lights up. I'm going to turn it off. And that one's our outside light. So that one's done. Hope you liked that video and just as a bit of a bonus I'll show you this uh, input device, it's up in the attic. the input devices there. So the cables come in underneath here. Television cables and um, CBUS cable in up the top. So each one of these input devices can handle up to four inputs. So that's them that are up in the attic. They're the input devices, so I've got quite a few of them up there. I've got some passive infrared switches and some uh, reed switches and doors and just other little bits and pieces going into the input devices to trigger different um, uh, lights and functions. And that's all along the Cat5, uh, that pink Cat5 along the top there links them all up together into the into the uh, network, into the input and output devices and all the other gang plates that are input devices. And just to show you that the um, it's all low voltage stuff. I'll plug this into the network. So this is the Cat5 CBUS cable. And I'll show you, uh, it's only about 32 volts. It might be a bit less here. This is the very, very last thing that's along the cabling from where the power supplies are located. And um, hopefully you can see that. And it might be only about 28 or 29 volts. Let's find out, let's see. Here we go, 29 volts. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you can hit the unlike button doesn't worry me but uh, also please consider subscribing to the channel that all helps I've got over 200 channel subscribers now so I'm quite happy about that but uh, till the next one see you later